Right, Yo, check out. No, my bad. Game time, baby. I think it's time I said it. Buckle up. Here we go. Go get your popcorn and sit down. Showtime! You do not want to miss this. Oh! That's a poster! Can you dig it? Not really, huh? You're seeing the best players at the top of their games right now. Did you hear that? The best. He's a magician. He is just a handful. Yes! Yes! I have to say one word. Superb basketball. That's the only word you can use. Superb. Can't argue that. The best of the best. It's the best of the season. That's a wow wing! Right there! <laughs> You rolling? Dwight Howard is a mutant. You win! You win, young fella! You win! And the way he dunks the ball is, is just sick. He, he's, he's ridiculous. We start off at number 25 with Howard taking on the entire Sacramento front court. Howard again. Look at that. Five white shirts. Tugging on Superman's cape to no avail that time. Howard just rising above them all. Now they're on a poster in some suburban neighborhood. So they'll, they'll definitely have something to tell their grandkids about. That, that, that's the bond that they all share together that uh, Dwight Howard dunked on all four of us simultaneously. But at 24, Gerald Wallace isn't about to let the same thing happen to him. That's nasty, right? That's nasty. I can do that. But not many people can do this. Blocked from behind by Josh Smith in spectacular fashion. But at 23, Smith sees right through the defense. Josh Smith behind the back in traffic. Now five children. Oh my goodness, what a pass! I once took a no-look pass in the face from Magic Johnson. True story. It's lucky my face is so flat or I would have destroyed my entire face. What a pass from Josh Smith! He liked that one and I did too. Did you see that one? But don't blink if you're watching Jamal Crawford. Shake and bake balls. Oh, he puts it in! That's becoming his patented move. What a move by Jamal Crawford. All I know is the sickest crossover in the NBA right now is owned by Jamal Crawford. And Jamal is a blur with his signature move at number 22. Now here's Crawford the other way. Oh, there again, oh, great, 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 great wow. wow. Terrific game for Crawford. So sick. Oh, yeah. Nobody else got these but the tri-state area. New York, Jersey, nobody else. Junk food. That's all I eat. And at 21, J.R. Smith soars on his sugar high but crashes hard. Rebound, J.R. Carter to Smith. Whoa! In your face. Oh, yeah, that was nice. Wow. Man, I wish I could do that just one time, one time. But at number 20, Dwayne Wade shows why he's the master of the impossible shot. Wade got it! Oh. Touch the foul! Nothing but net. Well, kind of. Dwayne Wade is never out of control. He always has a contingency plan. Dwayne Wade is the Jason Bourne of the NBA. Well, the circus right now at the American Airlines Arena, but no better show on earth than the one D. Wade could put on. Anybody disagree? I think not. There we go. At 19, Luke Walton surprises everyone but Kobe. What a pass! Oh, 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 what beautiful basketball. That was great eye contact with Luke Walton and Kobe Bryant. Nash, don't believe in him. I think it's a facade. It's all hype. I mean, I don't even believe it. I mean, have you actually ever seen him on the court live? I haven't. Right, that's why he's the two-time MVP right there. Hi, Scooby-Doo. Do you see the dude? He's right here. Sam Dewey, Steve Nash. It's terrible. <laughs> it was a stupid joke. Sorry, I apologize. Scooby-Doo, good reference. 
Number 18 is Nash showing that it might be easier to guard a ghost. Nash goes down, wheels in the corner. What a pass. Hill with a three. You talk about a great assist. Well, that was an amazing assist over his right shoulder, and then Grant hits his second three in a row. Unbelievable assist. We are professionals. <laughs> But D-Wade's still not above a little child's play. I ain't, I ain't, I ain't doing it. It's hard to make Chris Paul look foolish, especially on the court. But at 17, he makes the Spurs look like cardboard cutouts. Paul stripping Tony Parker of it. Oh, creativity for the MVP candidate. He has some of the quickest hands I've ever seen. He's the closest thing I've seen to Isaiah Thomas since Isaiah Thomas. I mean, look at this. Chris Paul definitely reminds me myself. He's probably got the game that I would have had had I made it to college. What's going on, Kevin Durant? Show you how a rookie do it. Durant may be a rookie, but at number 16, he's got the poise of a seasoned veteran. And he announced his presence to the rest of the league with this one. And it comes to Durant. He's going to try to win it. Good oh, at the buzzer! Kevin Durant hits a three-pointer, and the Sonics win the ball game. Kevin Durant bangs it in at the end of the second overtime. Woo -hoo -hoo. What a shot. I never hit a buzzer beating shot. And uh, to hit it in the NBA on the biggest stage, you know, it's, it's great. You know, I've seen a lot of great players do it. Now to be in that class with them is, is great. Stick with us as we continue our countdown with more plays that will leave you speechless. The really, really good. Nah. Wait, start over, start over, start over. All right. Um. Thomas wants to get it in quickly. And now that's a steal by Bird. Underneath the DJ. Right there. Right out for the second half. What a play by Bird. Bird stole the inbounding pass. Laid it up to DJ. DJ. the Celtics 113 to 111. Well they're gonna try and make a steal here and they got their best defensive team in there right now. And the Lakers keep in mind do not have to take a shot. And it goes quickly in now to Magic. Back over to Worthy and it's picked off. Goes to Hammond and he lays it off and out. It's all tied up. A great play by Hammond. For a minute there I could hear Johnny Bruce going innocent steal the ball. with only a few seconds to go. And now it's up to Cusy, dribbling the ball and running out the remaining seconds in one of the great performances of his career. It's all over as the frenzied crowd rushes out on the floor. The Boston Celtics have won their fourth consecutive NBA championship, 110 to 107, over the gallant Los Angeles Lakers. I think it's going to be more of a five-man game, and uh, we really have to play a complete basketball game. I, I don't think one man can beat the ball for seven. What a great shot, and a basket and a foul. You talk about bird, sheer determination. At certain points of a game, Michael Jordan has those same qualities. Jordan oh! ties the game. Oh, boy. 63 points, and you're looking at an all-time record. Oh, boy. And Michael Jordan. Spurs on three, Spurs on three. One, two, three, Spurs! Before every show, we get, get in circle and one, two, three. And then we say New Adventures of Old Christine, which is not that macho, but that's what we do. Uh, uh, you ready? Mm -hmm. <laughs> I'm ready. Play of the year, Tim. Gotta keep in the Spurs family. All right. Number 15 is a play that you have to see twice to believe. 
stolen away now by Ginobili. Off the Parker, back to Manu, back to Tony. He made it up and in. A little Manu voodoo. Did that first pass from Ginobili go between the legs I of Derek? I would imagine that. <laughs> He's not afraid to try anything. How do you stop that, Jim? You can't. At number 14, the answer is irrefutable. But the question is, how did he do it? Iverson now with it for Denver. Got fouled and won. Wow. Tough angle. That's knowing how to play. Some may call 13 unlucky, but not Chris Bosh, as he proves that it's never too late to make your own luck in the NBA. Terrence Gerard Ford. Bosh, the intercept from three-quarter court. Got it! Chris Bosh at the buzzer. Everything is working for the Raptors. This may seem like a long shot, but Kristich could see it coming, even if others didn't. How did that happen? Plays of the year, I think I'm in there. This guy is without question, and I don't care what any of you say on the East Coast, Kobe Bryant is the best player in the NBA today. A magnificent move by Kobe Bryant. I got one word for you. Excuse me, two words. 81. That's it. 81. In today, this day and age, 81. That's it. I would only let him get 50. That's it. Kobe, you my dog. See, I met Kobe when he first came out here. You know, we used to play video games together all the time, you know. But I haven't heard from you, Kobe. But at 12, Kobe delivers his message loud and clear to the Phoenix Suns. Brian to the basket, inside! Oh, what a finish for Brian! Does he take it to the Sharks' teeth or what? Kobe Bryant, when he dunked on Phoenix down the middle, I jump up on my seat <laughs> and keep rewinding. If you get there late on Kobe, you end up on Sports Center or on a poster. He got up quick. That's called explosion right there. 100.3 to beat. You are listening to the Lou Williams Show. I got Mike from Camden, New Jersey. He said, what's the highlight of your career so far? Lou Williams has been heating up the airways in Philly, but this play at number 11 proves that he won't be quitting his day job anytime soon. Memo. Oh, rejected by Williams. Little guy got up on Memo. one. Oh. plays by Lou Williams. He just snuffed a 6'11 guy. And up for grabs goes Williams at the other end. You have listened to the Lou Williams show? The athleticism that these guys display is absolutely mind-boggling. You take a guy like Nocioni of Chicago, not too many people know who he is, but here is one of the absolute most athletic, pure talents in the NBA today. Nocioni might not be a household name, but plays like number 10 may change that. Blocked by Noah. Now here come the Bulls. Nocioni running hard. Oh, oh my goodness. Get out the way, boy. Get out the way. A serious poster dunk. Ooh, where did those come with this? Let's just keep showing this. Every angle you guys got. Oh, oh look at this. <laughs> look at his face. Oh, my goodness. Play of the year, I have to say one word. Hito, 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 Hito. At number nine, the ball is in Hito's hands with the game on the line, and the whole arena was chanting his name after this one. Turkaloo on the deck. Here's Turkaloo for the win. A winner! That's a winner for the Magic! Hito Turkaloo! And the Magic hug Hito at midcourt. You know, Hito, he knocked down a real tough shot. I thought I could. Pretty much cut him off from one angle because he likes to go left and pull up and he just turns around and shoots a three. Uh, my hat goes off to him. Even as opponents at this year's All-Star Game, Jason Kidd and Dirk Nowitzki clearly had some chemistry. Should I throw it to Dirk right here? <laughs> I got assist to you. I threw it right there. <laughs> And at number eight, in Kidd's first game back in front of the Dallas fans, they show their connection is even stronger as teammates. Kidd steals it! Saves it in the dirt! Oh, he it in! Oh, Are you kidding me? No way J.K. is going to get that ball unless he puts his cape on and dives into the front row. Lo and behold, Dirk is there to save it. What a steal and what a shot! Wow. What a play to end the third quarter. 
three ball, lights out. This year, Nate Robinson has had a great season. He's like the only dunk contest champion that gets like maybe two dunks a year. <laughs> but at seven, Nate Robinson's athleticism is no laughing matter, unless a 44-inch vertical leap is funny to you. Look at who just slammed that one home, the five-foot-nine rocket ship named Nate Robinson. He is a freakish athlete. Oh, Nate Robinson comes flying in. And that gets the crown off of it, and the Nick bench as well. A great play, it's got to be the alley-oop, especially when it's like a backdoor. Two guys that do it really well, Tyson Chandler and Chris Paul. Alley-oop for Chandler, oh Whoa. my goodness! At number six, they tried their signature play once again, but Jason Maxiel says, not in my house. Chandler again. Oh, what a block by Maxiel! My goodness! Oh my God, that was obscene. Obscene, but it's beautiful. <laughs> That's the block of the year. That is unbelievable. Wow. Coming up next on Best Plays of the Season, the superstars take center stage. And later... The best five plays of the year. And trust me, you do not want to miss that. Kobe Bryant against Christie. Kobe Bryant on the move against Christie. In for the right, flips the shot up, no good. O'Neal lays it up, missed it. Ball tipped out to Lurie, a straight on three. Good! The Lakers have won! Robert Lurie's greatest hits tour continues. Kareem against Paris, long sky hook, in and out, and there's Patrick Johnson. And the Celtics can play for the last shot. Bird, double, Dennis Johnson, two seconds. It's good, the game is over. 2 2 is the series. Dennis Johnson hit the last basket of the game. The big story here tonight concerning Michael Jordan's physical conditions. Against Russell to the free throw line. Hangs in the air. Jumper good. Oh, shot. MJ, this will be the guttiest performance maybe all time. Back Michael. Open three. Yes. They lead it. 38 points for the Kings. Oh. Stuck a dagger at him with a three. Classic oh. performance by the forward Michael Jordan. It always feels like a dream come true with the bright lights and the vibrant colors. And, uh, you know, once you see those players up close um, and how easy they make it look, there's no other sport like it. Drum roll, please. Da -da -da -da. There's a steal in midcourt by Ginobili. Manu went between the legs of Fisher. Off the Parker, back to Manu, back to Tony. He made it up and in. Five seconds left for Chris. Chris drives. Experienced enough. Oh, the 
five best plays of the season when we come back. Series is tied two games apiece. This is game number five. And Larry Bird, he's red hot and he has 18 points in the ball game. Lakers had several chances and here's Larry Bird chucking down the court. Finds an open Bird, takes Rambis. One second. The Boston Celtics have trounced the Los Angeles Lakers 121 to 103 to take the 3 to 2 lead. Isaiah Thomas is hurt down on the court underneath the basket. I couldn't tell what happened. And this is a tough one. Holding his right ankle, Billy. Eight point lead for the Lakers. Thomas with the looper scores. Two on one. Thomas goes up. And Isaiah Thomas having an incredible period. And the thing about Isaiah Thomas, he's limping on every play. Can you imagine the great performance? Maybe one of the best we've ever seen in one quarter in NBA Finals history. Rockets fans smell victory. Rockets have the ball with the game tied and 6.7 to play. Drexler outside, Maloney, Johnson at the buzzer. Eddie Johnson hits at the buzzer to give the Rockets a 95-92 win over the Jazz. 7.5. They're going wild in the United Center. We're tied at 82. And Chicago will have seven and a half seconds of the ball. MJ, top of the circle against Russell. Michael Higgs fires. Scott. He goes wild. He knocked it in at the buzzer. I'm Chris Paul of the New Orleans Hornets, the NBA, where caring happens. I'm Bruce Bowen of the San Antonio Spurs, the NBA, where caring happens. The NBA, where caring happens. LeBron James, he goes all the way! Woo! Coming into the draft, I thought he was going to be overhyped and a bust. Oh. Oh. I was wrong. Totally my bad. LeBron, I personally apologize for my family to yours. I believe I can take LeBron. You know, everybody's like, are you a witness? I'm a witness and I'm not impressed. But maybe you should reserve judgment until you check out our entry at number five. Chance for the final good shot of the quarter. LeBron has to hurry here. Turns the shoulders. Oh, oh, oh my God. Did he just, oh my God. Whoa, run that back, somebody. Absolutely sick <laughs> two-hander. L. Trey with the reverse dunk as the buzzer goes off. Do it, young man. I stand tall because the sky can no longer hold the sky. The sky can no longer hold the sky. When they can't stop you, they can't stop you. You can feel it, you know it, you know, and, that, and that's more confidence, that's motivation. Right here, on fire. The best, I'm telling you. At number four, it's Amari living up to his nickname, Stat. Standing tall and talented. Blacks oh. has it punched out of there by Stoudemire. Amari and I was looking at the guy like, okay, I know you're not about to do this again. Okay, please do not try and attempt this at home, okay? And this guy kept on the what is that? Like, what was that move? Like the first time he killed my shot. When I called the second time, I thought I heard a whistle. So I stopped. He's waiting for me to, you know, to bite. He's like, you know what? I'm gonna just take it right over you. I saw that as a challenge. You see him get the first one, then sends it out a second time. And as soon as he released the ball, I just swatted it out of there. He is some athlete. It was just a rush that I got from that. It ignited my team, it ignited the fans, and that's when the tables were turned. This is the best? At number three, King James ties the game. But then Michael Red trumps him with the ace in the hole. Got it. What a tie. No timeouts. Got to go quick. Michael Red for the win. Yes! Oh, baby! Oh, yes! Michael Red! My goodness. Clean jumper. Nothing but net. 
It is game. <laughs> what a gunslinger he is. That quick trigger of his, again paying dividends, and look at the Bucks bench. I kind of had to keep freezing it just to see that form. Try to copy that form just so that I could shoot two for ten. Behind Kobe, the Lakers have brought Showtime back to L.A. Here's number two. This plays a thriller with no special effects needed. Wade try to get it down low. Picked off. Here's Bryant flipping over the head. Walk behind the back. Odin Scott! What a play by the Lakers! Standing ovation here at Staples. That's poetry in motion. That's zen-like. Phil Jackson, that was for you. The degree of difficulty by Kobe Bryant's pass over his head to a wide open Walton who returns the favor behind the back to Odom. From Luke Walton, you expect to see nice pick and roll, uh, set shot, but uh, every now and then he'll pull out, he'll pull out some moves he's been, he's picked up from hanging around the fellas, so uh, it worked. Ray Allen, Kevin Garnett, Paul Pierce, will it work? You know in uh, NBA Live, you got glitch mode, where you just take a team and you stack them, and then you play a full season. That's what the Boston Celtics tried to do. And that rookie they got off the bench, what's his name? What's the new guy's name? Oh, oh big baby! baby. Count it, count a foul! He's pretty good. Glenn Davis says thank you very much. I forget your name, I'm sorry dude, you probably don't know who I am. Don't worry about it, it's cool. But everyone knows the Celtics' big three, who came together to conquer the Eastern Conference. Hoorah! Hey! Hoorah! 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 How many y'all bring? This is the best right here, I'm telling you. Hold on to your wigs. This is the best. This is the one. The best. The top play, number one. Check it out. Record this. TiVo this right here. Enough buildup. Here it is. The best play of the season, turned in by the best team of the season. You're not going to believe this one. Pass deflected by Eddie House, kicked off by Pierce. Ray Allen for the game. Got it at the buzzer. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. Look at, look at, folks. <laughs> Bobcats, the laying on the floor. Improbable. And Ray Allen makes the clutch shot. Look at this. They can't believe it. Man, that was one of the all-time greatest plays that I've ever been a part of uh, as a basketball player on any level. All they have to do is get the ball inbound. Somehow we come up with the steal. I look up and the ball winds up in my hands and I get it to our best shooter on the team and he knocks it down with no seconds on the clock. Another look. All those shots he takes early. And it paid off late. And they just hit the deck and look at the, the happy Celtics. Ball game. Celtics. The Celtic guys are definitely looking over our shoulder that game. Thanks for joining us for the best plays of the season.